welcome back to my channel. It's me again, July, and I hope everyone is doing well. So for today's topic, um, it's all about postpartum hair loss. As you all know, I recently gave birth to my twins last October, and they are already four months yesterday. And uh, I've been losing a lot of hair recently. Eto, I'm gonna show you. See that? That is my effing hair. So this is just a sample of one-time combing. Ganito na karami yung nalalaga sa akin. And to show you, I have a bald spot here. See that? Dito wala. Ito ah, oh. ang laki. There. So mommies out there, why is it that we always lose our hair after 3 months? So basically, uh, once you get pregnant, there is an increased level of estrogen in your body. So that's the female hormone. So since it's increased, what happens to your hair is it stays under resting slash growing phase. So normally, a woman sheds around 100 hairs a day. So if you're pregnant, it stops. Usually your hair is, has more volume, is uh, thicker compared to your regular self or if you're not pregnant. Now, after three months of giving birth, because you gave birth, you lost a lot of female hormones or you lost a lot of estrogen. So, the effect niya is, yung hair mo is humihina yung roots. That's why it's falling out. So, every time you comb your hair, talagang sobrang dami yung fallout. So, again, it's normal. You can't really prevent it. We have it, different do's and don'ts for postpartum hair loss. And if you want to know more about it, Keep on watching. First tip, you can cut your hair. You can choose to cut it short or you can just choose to let it stay that long. So for me, as you can see, I let it stay um, because um, it's been a while since I had a very long hair. So I didn't cut it. But it's a ch uh, it's an option that uh, you can do para ma-minimize yung pag-fall ng hair. Tsaka mas madaling suklay yan kasi diba, kapag ka short hair. Ang bagal ko. Second Anyhow. tip, always wear your hair down like this. You can wear headbands, but please lessen the ponytails, the styling, heat equip, uh, heat tools on your hair, uh, treatments. Um, as much as possible, don't do it muna. Wait until your hair is um, more stable or hindi na siya masyado nagpo-fall. Um, if ever it's too hot since magsa-summer na, you can always tie your hair using um, ties like this. Pero pag tinayin nyo siya, ganito lang. Ayan. Ganito lang. Ayan. Kita nyo? Ganyan nyo lang siya itatay. Huwag nyo masyadong bigyan ng stress yung roots or wag nyo siya masyadong hilain kasi um, the more na hinihila nyo siya the more na mas prone siya sa damage, sa breakage, breakage tapos magpo fall out so always always wear your head down as much as Third possible. Third tip is you must use a comb that is widely spaced. So ang example niya is ganito Yan. So this is the comb that I'm using. So as you can see uh, sobra yung uh, spacing niya. So, if this is one inch, so one third inch ang kanyang space. Yan. So, ganito yung mga gamitin nyo para hindi nahihila yung buhok. Uh, meron pang mas wide dito eh, pero ayoko naman nun. Uh, mas gusto ko yung sakto lang yung wide niya. Uh, sakto lang yung luwag niya. Para nakukong pa rin ng maayos yung buhok. Pero, iwas din siya sa damage sa hair kasi hindi niya masyadong nape-pressure yung roots kapag katatanggalin mo yung mga buhol-buhol sa dulo. Next tip is uh, use the right hair product. So, kapag uh, merong hair loss, ang pinaka 
top na kailangan yung hanapin sa mga shampoo and conditioner is yung volumizing or strengthening. Um, also, look for shampoos with or shampoos and conditioners with biotin or uh, silka or rosemary. So I have an example right here. So I'm using this one, Avalon Organics, and this has um, there. It has a uh, biotin and a B complex, and it's a thickening shampoo. Uh, this is from Landmark. It's just 449 pesos. And what you need to do is you put it on your scalp, not on the on the hair first. So scalp muna, tapos massage, massage lang. Tapos, um, tsaka nyo lagyan yung dulo ng hair, konti lang. Yan. And you can pair it with a the conditioner. They also have a conditioner, but it's a bit pricey. So, if you want a cheaper alternative, you can also try Human Nature. They have uh, those types of uh, shampoos and conditioners as well. The one I'm using is this one. It's their Strengthening Plus. It has rosemary to help hair regrowth. It's sulfate-free, silicone-free, and paraben-free. This is cheaper. This is just 159 pesos, also from Landmark. And then they also have a shampoo that is uh, that has the same um, category as this one. Um, the other uh, brand that I have seen is uh, Organics. You can also buy that either from Landmark or from Watsons. So make sure that it has, uh, number one is the biotin or silka and then yung rosemary and other strengthening types of uh, ingredients that you can find in shampoos and conditioners. And also, uh, note nga pala sa mga products na to, huwag kayong mag-expect ng mabangong buhok. So this does not smell good. It smell um, herbally, smell like a plant, as in, um, siguro kung sa iba medyo hindi nyo magustuhan yung amoy, medyo masangsang siya. Pero tiis lang muna until your hair is stable. Okay? Of course, the next tip is don't forget your postnatal vitamins. Not because you're not pregnant anymore, you will not take any more, um, anymore. You will not take vitamins na. So, always, always take your multivitamins, um, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin B. Those are the most important vitamins that you should take. Oh, and iron. Kasi yun yung mga... Uh, talagang nawala nung nag-give birth kayo. And syempre, and then, proper diet, proper food. So, I know, nagkikrave lahat sa junk food because either hindi nyo siya nakain nung buntis kayo kasi ayaw nyo, or sobrang dami nyo namang nakain na gano'n nung buntis kayo, gusto nyo naman ng iba. So, of course, more fruits, more veggies, and protein. A next step is you can also start taking your pills if you're already done breastfeeding or kapag na-recommend na ng OB nyo, you can already start taking your oral pills because it's uh, made from estrogen. So as you can remember, sabi ko nga, estrogen or yung female hormone yung nawala. That's why we're, um, we're uh, having those hair loss. Pero since estrogen naman ang laman ng pills, it can also help with the hair loss. Again, it will not prevent it, it can just help. Of course, last but not the least, avoid stress, mga mommies. Think of positive things, think of your kids. Kasi uh, the more na stress ka, the more na lalabas yun sa katawan mo. So, mas lalo yung hair fall pa ganon. So, if you're tired taking care of your kid, house chores, just rest, you know, take a nap, and then uh, eat uh, food that you want para hindi ka makapag-isip ng um, mga stressful na bagay or mga negative things. Okay, mga mommies? But if the hair loss is too much, please see the doctor, your OB, or uh, go to the hospital and have it checked. Because if it's already uh, too much, kailangan mo nang ipacheck baka ka, you need uh, a different type of vitamin, baka iba na yung kailangan mong itake. So, always remember that. So, i-recap right? natin yung mga tips natin so that uh, you can prevent or you can actually lessen your hair loss after giving birth. So, number one, you can cut your hair. Number two, uh, you can always wear your hair down instead of uh, doing the pon ponytails and styling your hair para maiwasin yung stress sa roots. And then, number three, always use the right hair product, the right conditioner and the right shampoo. So, biotin or silica-based um, shampoos 
or those that are strengthening or volumizing. And then number f um, and then number four is uh, use a comb that is widely spaced. Number five, uh, take postnatal vitamins or multivitamins and eat well. Number six, you can start your pills or your contraceptives that contains estrogen. Number seven, avoid stress. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I hope marami kayong natutunan. I hope nakatulong ako sa mga mommies out there na nagdi-deal din sa postpartum hair loss. Um, you can also do those tips if you're in your pregnancy um, pregnancy uh, part and nangyayari agad yung hair loss. So, pwede rin yun. Uh, safe naman yun sa mga So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button below and the bell button so that you will be notified if I have a new video. Thank you! Have a great day! Bye!